When I think of Alabama, I think of some really hard history. It's a place that's tied to images captured a generation ago. As this country sought to live up to the creed that all men are created equal. Nearly 50 years after the Civil Rights Movement, State of the Reunion went to Birmingham, Alabama to see if there was healing going on, and we found it in one of the most unusual of places. You guys see the topography uh, here? There was a railroad trestle here. This was a switch that went to the number 14 mine. The trail that we're on is actually the old tramway that went to the Oxmoor Furnace. And this was built in uh, 1872, so interesting piece. Park Ranger Eric McFerrin took us to Red Mountain Park, a place which was, up until a few years ago, a fenced off mountain in Birmingham. One of the interesting things about Red Mountain Park is the fact that it's so uh, strategically located. Um, you know, it's it's got such historical significance, but also for the people of Birmingham uh, today, it, it, I mean, it's right in the heart of the city. I tell people you come out to the park, you're in the middle of nowhere, but yet you're in the middle of everything. When completed, Red Mountain Park will be one of the largest urban parks in America. At 1,200 acres and four and a half miles long, it will be bigger than Central Park in New York City. But Red Mountain is more than just a scenic getaway. It's the site of the once booming Birmingham ore mines. Closed for 50 years, this place has a story to tell about pre-civil rights race relations. People seem like they got along unusually well among the races here on the mountain. You know, I think the, uh, the mines were very well managed. And I think the main labor pool in the early days was African American. And, uh, so most of the people I talked to were were sort of happy with their camp life and their experiences. This wasn't walled up here, like went un all the way down, or it right. stopped right here? Right. No, it was, uh, this This has actually got a concrete plug in it. This would have looked like a miniature railroad tunnel, okay. and it's still got uh, eight or ten feet of dirt that needs to be pulled back to, to see its full height. Um, so you've got uh, the entry into the earth at this this angle, and it basically just goes down to what they call a pocket underground, which is a gathering point Land for the space, yeah. yeah. We had the opportunity to catch up with some of the surviving miners and hear the story in their words. We had blacks out there working with the whites, and like I said, we, we, we had a good relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, our formers in the mine, they didn't show no par partiality. And uh, so when all this other come up, that's was hard for me to uh, get used to. Nobody, mm -hmm. everybody was staying color when they come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, really, it uh, but it really didn't make. Uh, it, that, now that one of the, I believe that's where really uh, discrimination and stuff broke down some, because people that back in then got a chance to get used to white people more. And the white people got used to color people more because they were right together, working together. Oil mines in Birmingham, Alabama were built for black folk. You had a few whites who were mine foremans and mine captains and so forth. Uh, and if I had not had the opportunity to work in the mine, I would not have known that. But, but blacks, excuse the expression, they caught hell in that mine as far as work is concerned. Yeah, so that, that, that was no, that was some segregation as I said, folks stated, but you, if you were on the same crew, you work together as a team. And downtown Birmingham, you didn't, you didn't really mix up with any white folks down there at all, did you? No, I had no reason to. I'd go and shop down there, but I had no reason to socialize or mix with anyone, any whites down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's come a long way since then. Yes, yes, yeah, I would say so, sadly so. Mm -hmm. When you enter that hole right there and, <coughs> and go down, uh, Everybody's looking out for everybody. 
and you have a bond between everybody. Yeah, and uh, that's and you carry you carry that with you on the outside when you come out. It it just ain't down there because you have a feeling for this for that same person outside that you will down there. Uh, this is some history of you. Well, somebody didn't do what they done. This history will be lost forever. Be gone. Because most of the people really already did <laughs> already did, but just a few of us. It ain't enough of us. It's just a few to tell the story. And uh, they did lucky to catch us. <laughs> I, I'm probably the youngest. I'm probably the youngest ore miner when they shut the mine down. Uh, age and company. When they shut it down, I was probably the youngest man. What do you think about um, the park that they're trying to do with the mountain and everything? Well, I'm all for it. I, there are just a few of us now who, 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 and I happen to have on a park cap there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's important that we, um, some kind of way, let everybody know all over the world that uh, Red Mountain help Bill Birmingham, Red Mountain, to tell you the truth, uh, <clears throat> Red Mountain uh, fought a war. If it had not been for the, the, the Red Mountain uh, building, helping to build ships and the steel plants and sending that ore out there and making steel and the making ships and guns and what have you, no telling what would have happened to America. And I see the park as being a gathering point for everyone in Birmingham that's, that wants to come and use it. I see it as a, uh, a point of unity for Birmingham in the future. Because, you know, Birmingham has somewhat of a tough history mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to, you know, civil rights and, and all that stuff. Right. Um, so, you, I mean, you see this park as a, a way to kind of help heal some of those wounds. I really do, and I, I think, Al, the reason for that is because, you know, everybody in Birmingham can, can come back to Red Mountain and say, this is an important place to us. Mm -hmm. And I think in the future it can be an important, important gathering spot for everyone to come together in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, both black people and white people mm -hmm. had to take something out of this place. I mean, for this it created right. jobs for black folks. It, it's everyone's history, right. and it can be everyone's future as well.